Let's look at prime factorization. Let's say we wanted to find the factors, the prime factors of 12. So prime, prime factorization, the first thing you do is look for a factor pair. Now we know that there's several numbers that will get us 12. We could do 3 times 4. We could do 2 times 6. We could do 1 times 12. Of these choices, I want to either go with 3 times 4 or 2 times 6. I don't want to go with 1 times 12 because 1 is neither prime nor composite. So in prime factorization, we never use 1 as one of the factor pairs. Let's say we went 3 times 4. Once I've listed those factor pairs, the next thing I want to do is ask myself, are either of those prime? In which case, I'm going to underline them if they are. 3 is prime. It only has two factors. Prime numbers always have exactly two factors. No more, no less. The only two numbers that go into 3 are 1 and 3. So it's prime. 4 is not, because I know that 2 times 2 also equals 4. Both 2 and 2 are also prime, so I'm going to underline those. So now I have, and I know that they're prime because 2 times uh, 1 are the only two factors of 2. So for my prime factorization of 12, I write 2 times 2 times 3. All of my underlying numbers are there, and I put them from smallest numbers to biggest. Sometimes you'll be asked to put prime factorization using exponents which case you go 2 to the second power times 3. And I have prime factorization using exponents. Let's try a little bit bigger number this time. Let's go uh, 24. There's lots of different numbers that go into 24. How about if we try 6 times 4? Looking at them, I ask myself, does, is either 6 or 4 prime? And I say, no, neither one is prime. So I know I have to branch both of these out again and find factors. 6. I have 2 times 3 equals 6. Both of those are prime, so I underline both. 4 has two factor pairs, 2 times 2. Both are prime. So for my prime factorization of 24, I write 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And I list these small numbers first and working my way to bigger ones. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Now, now I'm just going to try and, and do it with uh, exponents. So I know there's three twos, so two to the third power times three. And there I finished prime factorization with exponents.